Hi, I'm attorney Renee Asipov with Shelley Law here in Scottsdale, Arizona, and we represent clients before the Arizona Board of Fingerprinting. Today in this video, I'm discussing can someone with a DUI get an Arizona fingerprint clearance card? The answer is most likely yes. However, as with any arrest or criminal history, you would likely be denied with your application for an Arizona fingerprint clearance card and would have to then ask for a good cause exception. Now, under most circumstances, it's likely that you would be granted the good cause exception if you can show the fingerprint board that there's nothing pending, so you're not awaiting trial. Everything has happened. You fulfilled your sentence requirements, so that's fines, court ordered classes or substance abuse treatment, things like that. It, all of that has been fulfilled. You will also need to explain or show the board that you have been rehabilitated so that this would not happen again. And then also you need to attach any official court documentation showing, you know, every stage of the process from the arrest to the fulfilling of your sentence. Other things to consider, though, if during the DUI there was any type of physical harm, if there were any children involved, those would definitely be aggravating factors that would likely cause your good cause exception to may, it may go to a hearing with an administrative um, law judge. So anything with children, anything that's still pending, there could be some additional hurdles in order to get that good cause exception in order to get your, good, your fingerprint clearance card. So just in summary, if you have a DUI that is all taken care of, it's done and over with, you've completed any sentence or anything that's mandated by the court, all of that's done. You've shown the board that you are rehabilitated, that this will not be happening again, that you've learned from this experience and that you've taken responsibility for your actions. And as long as no children were involved and there was no physical harm to any others, it is likely that you would be granted good cause exception. And therefore, like I said, getting your fingerprint clearance card. Another thing to remember though, if your DUI has taken place within five years of the time that you're applying, you not only have to supply court documents, but you will also have to attach with your application police reports from that incident. And then of course, you'll have to fill out the application with all of your personal information and then attach at least two letters of reference. Again, this helps showing that you have been rehabilitated, you've learned from these past mistakes and that you take responsibility for them. So if you'd like any other questions answered or if you have any concerns, obtaining your good cause exception so that you can get your Arizona fingerprint clearance card, you can check out our website at Shelley Law, C-H-E-L-L-E law.com. Our contact information is also in the description below this video and please reach out if you need us to represent you or if we need to just consult you on the process and your rights involved.